a lot of witches and mundanes and all people of all places and all yada yada yada. Hi. So, time, time has, is flying. It's just speeding up so fast. Uh, it's already 1 a.m. here and we still have to go to the gym. Um, it was laundry day, so that's just been crazy. Uh, but yeah. Here, it's the 7th, so we're going to do our card of the day, and I've been working with the Divine Circus Oracle, which was gifted to me by uh, Nadia of Lady James Bewitchery, so check her page out. Uh, at first, I was, you know, it was gifted to me, so I was like, yes, it's awesome, and I think I had it on my wish list, too, at one point, or I thought about, you know, wanting it, and I'm like, eh... I don't know. It's like circusy. It's uh, you know clowns and clowns are creepy. But really, I absolutely love this deck. And you guys know too. Like we've been talking about these cards and such for a few days, and so it's it's been fun. Um, I like it. So we're gonna shuffle. Hey, Isabel, hey, Lisa, Samantha. We're gonna shuffle. We're gonna focus. And again. You guys know, I'm going to repeat myself, but uh, we are going to, hey, Amy, um, shuffle, and I'll focus on a general message for everyone so we can, you know, kind of all get something from, you know, the card. It is up to you to take it to the next level. So the first things that you've seen, the image, the colors, the imagery, you know, anything, pay attention. And, and, you know, the first things that you notice are going to be something very personal to you, okay? So that's how you kind of personalize it. You take into consideration what has been said about the card and the things that, you know, stand out to you. And then, you know, you make it yours. And you can also do your own reading, put some cards, um, you know, down for yourself surrounding what was expressed here and make it more personal. Hey, Haley. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do that. And then later, if you want to tune out, you can. But after I do the, uh, the card and after we talk about it and we get, you know, enough from the message and such, I'm going to do a few little updates on uh, some stuff that I'm working on. Hey, Steve. Ooh, the cards almost fell. No good. Hey, Catherine. And since... We have people here. Uh, I will ask you to help in choosing uh, what stack we, we choose our card from. I really need to get a better space. I have been working all day. Uh, is it Genovi? I love that name. Hi, Nicole. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Kimberly. Crystal. Ooh, thank you for stopping by, Crystal. Hey, Karen. Sorry, I have like no space. I have essential oils out. I have crystals out. I have herbs, hair products. Uh, I have shit all over the place because I've been, well, we've been doing laundry and I've been working. So it's crazy over here. Hey, Karen. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle. So hopefully everyone's been having a blessed day wherever you are. Have a blessed morning. Have a blessed evening. Before you go to bed, know that you're blessed. Hey, Erica. Uh, it's 1 a.m. here, so, hola, la bonita. Hey, Cassia. But, yeah, just, you know, again, hopefully everyone's been doing their intentions, you know, expressing and programming your life uh, before you go to bed, doing your you know, your, your walk through, checking in with yourself and then stating, you know, how blessed you are and, and the beauty that you want in your life and the good dreams and the good rest that you need. And then before you get out of bed, make sure to uh, program your day. And again, express how blessed you are and how beautiful you are and how strong you are. Uh, program your day every day. So you, uh, hey, Karen. Uh, one of my mentors. But yes, uh, program your day every day. It just helps. Even if we have shitty days, because we all have shitty days ever so often, or 
more often than not or whatever, you know, it happens. But the more we program our day, hey, Jessica, uh, the more we do, the more, you know, chances we have at having that good uh, energy. Okay, one more shuffle and then I'm gonna have you help me out. Okay, shuffle is done. I really have no space over here. It's okay though, we'll make it work. So y'all, yes, y'all, uh, aloha, Luika. I think that's how you say it. Um, you get to choose stack one, stack two, or stack three. The popular vote will be the card we choose. So, I love, I love having wild hair. You know, I love my curls. So, three, okay, so you get to choose, help me out, we'll decide what card needs to be expressed. So let's do, we have three, we have one. Uh, thank you so kindly. Um, two, threes, we got two threes, three. Three is like one of my favorite numbers. I love odd numbers. Three, 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 hey Shadowhawk. Uh, Catherine, one, one, okay, okay, two, three, three, okay, we'll give it a couple more, one, uh, three, making me laugh, two, okay, one more, thank you. And I think that was, okay, three, Jessica, you were the final, uh, you were the final de decision. You made it. Ah. Okay, that's interesting. Hey, Trish. Love your name. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Okay, so the Joker is wild. And look at that hat. And, and if you were here yesterday, or if you watched our, our card of the day for today, or yesterday, the 6th, um, you'll know that this body, this this body language, this, uh, this image, her posture, her eyes, everything about her is quite different. So... What do you notice? Like, when you see the card, what is the first thing that pops into your head? What do you feel? Uh, what what stands out to you most? Um, Joker is wild. What, is, what could that mean? You know, what, what's that expressing to us? Uh, her, she has very distinct features. Thank you. Oh, I love this, too. She does have a serious face, doesn't she? I wish I could show this a little better. Oh, she does have a serious face. Her contour is on point. Hey, Claire. Welcome, welcome. Awesome. Quiet before the storm. Fierce, yeah. A lot of these cards seem to be fierce too, huh? Because, I don't know, Divine Circus reminds me of Carnies. Carnies are fierce people. Quiet, more than serious. Something is about to go down. Beautiful card, longing feeling. Okay, so I'm going to put this down for a second so I can read to you. And again, like I do every day, I'm going to express that because it's an oracle card, what I like to do is I like to express a little bit from the, or the book because I feel oracle cards have very distinct meanings. And the person, the creator of the oracle, they have this distinct energy they want to share with us. And so I like to read from the book a little bit, then we'll talk about it and see what we come up with, as well as my intuitive response. So, serious, quiet, caught up, sleep, great success, mystic, hidden. That's a feeling I get, awesome looking hard. Uh, she looks slow, she's longing for something, yet she's confident, cool, I like that. Okay, so, Joker is wild. Let's see. I'm trying to keep it, okay, I think that's it. The universe has a sense of humor, but never at your expense. 
It is laughing with you, not at you. You'll see this for yourself as the Joker weaves her magic in your life, bringing you to the grace that is beyond all reason, the necessary ingredient to ensure you win with the hand you have been dealt by life. There's nothing impossible when the Joker appears. Her wild ways can transform a losing streak into a lifelong love affair with Lady Luck. Hell yeah. Shoot. That's good shit. It's interesting because that's like really good. Fuck, I'm sorry that this card's like being crazy. But that's a very good statement. That's a very good expression. Morning, Tracy. Um, hey, Mona Lee. But look how serious she is. But it's also like this liberating feeling, you know, because it's Joker is wild. This means that we have that that wild card. We have that energy where we create. So let me read the affirmation and then let's talk about the card. So take into consideration what that was expressing. Uh, let's see. So the affirmation that is associated with this card is Joker of love takes the reins. And the perfect punchline is all that remains. Joker of love takes the reins, and the perfect punchline is all that remains. Tricky. Okay. So, uh, if you've noticed a lot lately, there's been this sort of like chaotic energy, but not chaos as people think is negative or bad, but chaos as in just, you know, inspiration, storm essence and, and storm energy and all these things that come together to, to create something. And it's up to each and every one of us to figure out what that means for us. But the Joker is wild is expressing how, you know, all of these things are happening because there's major shifts in our own lives that are going to take place and it is up to us to act upon it you know it is up to us to know that there is like an abundance of you know energy for us to utilize our own uh leisure she has strength the joker makes laugh so joker serious is wild I'm into Cardamount C. Joker is also symbolic of renewal and rebirth. Absolutely, Rory. Yes. And that's, you know, again, uh, that goes back with, you know, chaos energy uh, and us being able to take that and make it our own. And it's saying, uh, you know, you have the wild card. You have that. Someone said the, the card up their sleeve. You have that card up your sleeve in your life right now where you get to decide what happens. And so that's kind of like a very liberating and very uh, freeing um, feeling. And for some of you, this is, you know, for those of you who have been going through very uh, challenging experiences and, and, and uh, making that decision for yourself, whether you might have to leave a situation or a relationship or you have to step away because it's not benefiting you. It's, it's toxic. And so Joker is wild as saying, this is a confirmation. You have your life in your own hands. And so you are being given this free essence, this, this um, uplifting energy where you can create and be happy again. You know, that wild card comes into your experience and, and, and it's saying, don't act until you get that wild energy, that wild card uh, to that, that guidance that will support your action. Does that make sense? So it's very important that the decisions that you make, that you're processing right now, that you take time to understand them, but also uh, before you act upon them, because you're going to act upon them. We already know what we want, and so we're going to act upon these things that are coming into our lives. Uh, but before you act upon them, make sure to have the wild card. You know, Joker is wild. So it's really just expressing that before you, you know, do what you already know in, in innately that you're going to do, um, get that confirmation, get that wild card, something that is, is entering your experience right now to have to enrich your life even more, to, to you know, build that up even more. So that might explain why it's been feeling like a full moon uh, when it isn't, for sure. 
puts me back to wondering if I am making the right decision with him. Amazingly, we were just talking about the positive chaotic energy we feel toward each other. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, uh, Joker as well is like, it's giving you the opportunity. You have, and again, it's not telling you one way or the other. It is up to each and every one of us to make that decision for ourselves in our lives and see, utilize proper discernment to see what that inspirational message is meaning. You know, it's up to us. We have the power in our own life to, to create that change. So it is expressing that whatever you're going through, it might say it's time to release, let go, no more. You know, because this relationship, this situation, this experience is, is is killing me. My happiness is no longer. Joker is wild comes in. My happiness, I see it over here. And I need to follow that. Or my happiness is here, but I realize that I have to work at it. That there's something here that we have to work on. And if all parties are, are willing to do the work then Joker is wild is that that positive essence that that sort of um there is a word I've been trying to use and I can't find it so I apologize but it, it's that uh, you know new energy that is wild and and it's not wild is not the word I'm trying to use but I can't it's just gonna bother me but you know you'll feel it deep in, in your heart and in your, in your core. So you'll feel it in your heart chakra as well as your, like your solar plexus where the decision you need to make is right for you. So whether it be stay and perfect the situation and work through things or, you know, you just know that things are just running out. You know, maybe you have to let go of a job let go of a person, let go of a friendship, let go of a, a relationship, or, um, you know, don't invest too much in a certain situation, or en engulf yourself with it, you know? So Joker is wild. That is a very good, that's a fun energy. Okay, there, perfect. Oh, 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 shit. But yeah, she's, again, very in her own power, very precise. Uh, she knows her, her energy. She knows her stuff. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. But yeah, you know, everything that you, you express with the card uh, also fits. So... Again, today, uh, just take into consideration um, the card, the energy that it is expressing. Meditate with it. Ask yourself how this applies to your situation. If you need more information, pull a few cards for yourself. Uh, expand upon it. But realize that, you know, the, the universe is your ally you know the spirits are your allies when when you take care of them they'll take care of you the universe is putting you in situations where you are being given the opportunity to grow and perfect and expand and so you might think Ugh, another situation like this oh fuck i'm over it you know you might think that but really um shift your perception with it and realize that every situation that you experience right now is is fine-tuning you in order to step through and have more of what you really want. So that's kind of, that's a challenge for me as well, but it's it's about realizing that all these situations, even if it's a, re, a, a pattern, we can learn from, and it's not something that's taken away from us. It's not, it's not, you know, getting us off course, what it is doing is helping us fine tune our energies and fine tune our responses, our beliefs and how we handle these situations so we can actually manifest and step into that future that we really want for ourselves. So that, um, hey Johnny, uh, so that's you know what's being expressed. So let's see, if you have any questions about the card before we move on, um, let me know. 
and we can discuss anything that you saw in the card that you didn't hear. Um, and that's why I really like doing the card of the day. Uh, hey, Jada. Uh, live, because then I get to share the card, the intuitive message, as well as you get to, you know, pick things out and then we can talk about it and it just expands it and other people might uh, benefit from, you know, you and and what you saw on the card. <laughs> Maybe eventually one day, Amy, I've been, go- we still have to go to the gym tonight. So eventually, that's funny. That's interesting, Sherry. Sherry or Shark? Hmm. Sorry, Sherry. Sorry, I fucked your name up. Um, but yeah, if that's the second time today you heard something and it's it stood out for you, pay attention to it. You know, uh, that might be uh, something important. You know, so yes. You know, if you if you've heard, and that's very important for all of us. You know, uh, take care of the spirits, and they will take care of you. That's very true. You got to be mindful of the energies that you work with. If you invest into them, and you you support them, and you give to them, and, and you take care of them, they will also take care of you because they have your back. Why do they want to not have their food source or their spirit source, uh, uh, you know, taken care of? They don't want that. They don't want to not give you that. So take care of them, they will care for you. And that's kind of like all around, you know, even in this sense, like what we're doing here, I am doing what I love and I, I'm sharing a message and, and we're talking and I, I'm sharing with you and you are giving me feedback and that helps me, you know, that helps me to grow and that also helps me to continue to do what I do and what I love. Uh, Cause I don't want to talk to myself, but I will if I have to. But it's just that that cycle, you know, the ebb and flow of energy. Uh, take care of something that will take care of you. And if again, if that's something you've heard more than once today, pay attention to that. Um, and it might be time for you to uh, make an offering to your spirits, your ancestors, whoever you work with, make an offering to them and, and thank them for, for having your back. Thank them for, you know, blessing your life because without them, we would not be here. So that's something that is very important for all of us, you know, to do, to implement, uh, caring for our ancestors, our spirits, uh, doing that, that work. So, that's the card. Perfect. I don't know. You're fine. It might. People do that all the time, and it's fine. Sometimes it's just a typo or accident. Sometimes it's legit, and it's fine. But I agree with you because the Joker is about you know renewal, rebirth, and, and such, and that's a good energy to have, especially with all the things that we're going you know through right now as a whole. So it's important that we, you know, just live it. Uh, Valerie, you can actually go back to the beginning and watch because um, I don't remember everything that we talked about. And it was to recap. I don't know. Joker is wild. Just go to the beginning and watch that. And that will just be better because that will have that message, that experience. And then what other people picked up on, uh, we talked about that. It's like messages I get from the angels for light working. I know that sounds crazy whenever I tell people that. No, it's not crazy. You know, we all have our path, and it's that's kind of another challenge that we have to uh, work through. Is like it. We talk to spirits. We talk to gods. We talk to uh, angels. We talk to um, all of these, you know, spirits and beings and entities and such. And it's not crazy. You know, people, you know, again, and this is no hate at all, but, you know, Christians talk to God all the time and they don't and they don't feel crazy for doing so. And some of them are, you know, that old man that should be dead by now. You know, I can't remember what his name is. What is it? Pat Robertson or something. I don't know. But, you know, they talk to God and even angels or whatever 
all the time and and they are so passionate about it and that's something that's one of the many things that we can actually learn from them because they're not scared to express and, and, and own that they talk to spirit or you know god so we are still kind of like deprogramming maybe and and learning to uh, step into our own potency and power and, and express that uh <laughs> we talk to spirits we have to remind ourselves that it is okay and this is who we are and this is what we do and and this is valid so yeah it doesn't sound crazy to me aliens on the other hand I don't talk about aliens. I don't mess with that stuff. Mm -mm. Just a thought, Joker in a king's court is there to entertain. The king being termed wild means the Joker belongs to no one and is of their own will and wild being also considered awesome. Mona Lee, that is perfect. That's perfect. And you're absolutely right. And that's... You picking up on that is awesome because you know that's all it's expressing something personal to you but also for other people and that expands the card and that expands our conversation so um yes i love that i really love that you said that um and it is it's you know their own will and wild being also considered awesome okay joker and king's court is also yeah free liberation freedom it's our time to to unchain ourselves step into the power that we are and make the choices in our life that we know are necessary but we might be fighting okay okay so that was the card of the day i apologize i'm totally getting distracted by all these wonderful comments uh that was the card of the day and i've been doing this daily and i'm gonna keep doing it daily whether it be video i I really prefer the live video um, or blog. I will make it a point to do this every day as long as you allow me to do it and you enjoy it. So with that being said, I'm just going to give you a few updates tomorrow or later today, the 7th, um, I am holding a psychic development workshop. It is going to be awesome. It's going to be so fun. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, my God. I really am because I'm going to share a lot of things that I was trained with in psychic training. We were taught a lot of stuff, but I have fine tuned it over the years and, and I'm going to share a lot of different ways, different exercises, different techniques to develop on your own, to perfect and to, and to, you know, exercise and to do the work. The more you do the work, the more, in alignment with your soul nature, you will be. And so, if you want to attend the Psychic Development Workshop, yes, y'all, this is gonna be a business plug. Um, message me and we can. It's uh, 47, you get a booklet, a digital booklet, as well as the workshop. And you can you know, go back to the workshop and if you have any questions about psychic development, you can ask me and I will respond and. I will do my best to answer most of those on the video. So it might be a long workshop, but you can definitely message me. It's going to be really fun. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Psychic uh, development is key and vital for all of us. Um, and it's just something that I find uh, very fascinating. So yeah, message me if it's something that you're interested in and we can talk about that. I, appreciate you so much because you're awesome duh no that's the card of the day joker is wild again if you're watching a recording and some people don't realize they're watching a recording so this is a reminder i'm not ignoring you some people have expressed that i'm rude or something which is very possible because sometimes i'm rude um i guess but I'm not ignoring you. It's just you're watching a recording and I'm not, not live. So I'm not ignoring you. Um, when you do comment, I do my best to respond to you. So if I see it, I'll respond. Thank you, Trish. We'll come back. Uh, I'll, do, I'll do another uh, card of the day tomorrow. So probably around the same time because I don't know. This is just the time that works. Um, 
Who is Slovenia? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I do. Okay. So, getting distracted. I need to go to the gym. So, thank you so much. I've had fun. Y'all enjoy. Erica, um, yeah, I can I can definitely work on that. And I will say that there's going to be something for empathy in my psychic development workshop. When you develop, you know, your psychic senses, the clairs, uh, there's a lot of clairs. Uh, but when you develop your spiritual energy, your psychic connection, your clairvoyance, you know, your clairsentience, when you develop it all, you start to enhance your empathy. You, you start to work that. So you can message me if you want to talk about more about empathy and, and a workshop for that. Um, you might be interested in the psychic development workshop. Just message me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I got to go. So have fun. Wish me luck at the gym. Hopefully I don't die. Oh, peace. <laughs>